the first edition of the P-Series, complaining that its miniaturisation has gone too far, but this latest laptop has undergo undergone some improvements, making it a lot easier to use. The most prominent change is the new grip style touchpad. Originally you just had this little sensor here in the middle of the keyboard, but this can, be sometimes, can sometimes be difficult to work with. It's quite uncomfortable and it's a bit oversensitive at times. But now you can choose between that and this new touchpad here on the right hand side of the screen. So you just scroll with it with your thumb. And then on the left hand here, you've got the two mouse buttons. So you just use them to control it. Um, the one thing I have noticed about this is everything on the screen does appear quite small. That's because this is currently the higher resolution. But there is a, a, a solution to this. So you put this new change resolution button. So if you press it, it makes the resolution lower and everything appears bigger. So this is, this is good for um, when you want to read something, but maybe not so good for viewing images. Um, also on the right here, you've got the assist button, which takes you straight to the bio care. And there is a famous web button, which can launch the internet without even having to turn the computer on. Another downside is the speed of the machine. Now obviously it is small, so it's no Alienware machine, but simple things like loading the internet can be slower than you'd wish for. The Intel Atom processor, even teamed with a 2GB RAM and 64GB solid state drive, does prove limited. You can upgrade to get more power out of the machine, but it will cost you a bit extra. The new P-Series comes equipped with Bluetooth. It has a headphone jack, just here. Uh, it comes with two USB ports. There's one on this side and another one just here. It also comes with an SD card slot right here at the front and an HDGO slot. Also, on this side of the machine, you've got um, a proprietary connector for when you want to hook up to a bigger monitor. This can also be useful if you want to connect the P-Series to an Ethernet adapter, as the machine doesn't come with one built in. It also has built-in 3G everywhere, so you simply flick the wireless button to activate that. So you can always stay online, and it's got GPS and an e-compass as well. Now this model's real strength is its portability. It has a two cell battery that lasts just over five hours, which is better than most netbooks, and is only 21mm thin, the perfect size to slip into your handbag or into your coat pocket. Not many other laptops can boast that. It does cost a fair bit, retailing at around £800, but it's great if you have the cash to splash on a machine that is used for navigation, web browsing and sending emails. For more information about Sony, the Sony Bio P series and other Sony laptops, just visit the Sony page on PC site. Well, thanks for watching. PC Set for your video review of the Sony Bio P series with me, Rosie Keenan. <laughs>